Hey everybody, we're back with more FTL Faster Than Light, and it's Mantis Homeworlds time! You know what that means? It means that we are on the Crystal Bee, and for lack of a better word, we are dominating. Two defense drones, a really good weapon layout. More importantly, our three Crystal crew, they're almost all max combat. And uh, we have uh, Mantis to support them. Here's our ship stats, pretty nice. We have... So I had a lot of weapon options. I went with the small bomb, mainly just so that I can bomb through uh, med bays later on. But our goal in the here and now is just to uh, survive and destroy things. So there's a store that I don't really care about, unless it has long-range scanners or a... Uh, oh, what was I saying last time I wanted? Uh, long-range scanners or a scrap recovery arm. So we're going to make our way back to there. Why are they fighting near a star? Because they're idiots. That's okay. So you all aren't even going to be able to board me. In fact, you all are not going to be able to do shit to me. Let's lock it down twice. Hopefully that's not the room that gets set on fire. So where are we going? Yay, we're alright. Our med bay's not happy. But that's something that can be fixed. And I did have a heal bomb before. This could be a fight where it might not be bad to... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I just killed all of you. Hey, look! We <laughs> get... Grotsky, another rock guy. I actually, for once, I'm kind of happy with the crew I have, even though there's two humans, they've already leveled. I have two rock people who are manning stations. I hate dismissing a rock person, but that's what I'm going to do. So let's hear Johnson. Johnson's our engine guy, what are you doing? Notch is our shield guy. Not that we really need too much help on the shields, it looks like. I'm going to heal here as long as I can, which is apparently not very long. And then get out before a star fries us. Right into an asteroid field with an auto drone scout. With two shields. And this is another situation where I do not really like boarding here, just because I don't want to take down their shields and totally just wreck them. But I'm not too threatened by their loadout either, so we're going to cloak here as a matter of course, and yet I, even though I have 85% dodge, we're still getting hit. Uh, I could board and uh, try and take out their uh, cockpit, but I think instead... Since I'm not going to get any bonus scrap for killing crew while boarding. I'm just going to try and take down their systems a little bit. Their iron weapon's gone, so the next hull shot I take is going to be a pretty happy hull hit. Yeah, you're dead. Thanks, guy! And look at all the stuff we have. All these fun little gifts for our friends. And 99 scrap. Let's go ahead and hit the store, because if it has one scrap recovery arm, that'll be worth it. Especially in the here and now. Drone recovery arm is not bad either. Firebomb would be better if I was going for another strategy. We'll go ahead and... Uh, let's see here. Okay, so the pre-igniter is not bad at all. I'll pick up the drone recovery arm just so that I can start throwing out some defense drones. We're going to try that store up there. Like I said, scrap recovery arm will be worth it. Well, we can afford to get into more fights here. If I have to sell something to get it, I'll just sell defense drone. Yes, there we go. Drone recovery arm. I'm not really going to need more than one defense drone, so... Not with this setup. So, scrap recovery arm, drone recovery arm, automated reloader. We're happy campers. Now we've just gotta kill some shit. And roll in even more scrap. 
Why am I... Okay, this is the Mantis homeworlds. So why am I not fighting ships all the time? Don't understand. There we go. Okay. So this is kind of an interesting conundrum. Their FDL's charging. So we kind of got to take that out. Priority number one. I want to take down their shields and stuff. I want to take down all kinds of things. And it would probably be a really good idea for me to actually deploy a defense drone when it's relevant to do so. So let's go ahead and cloak. And hull beam. I could hit all three systems, but I don't really want to with my crew in there. So FTL is delayed. So can you hit it? Yes, good. Good, took out the missile launcher, that's what we wanted there. Let's go ahead and heal you guys up. Don't really need the that anymore. Am how I'm gonna need another shield power stat. Okay. A little bit more micromanaging than I'd like, but this guy's gonna die in the next volley, so. Or we say he's gonna die next volley. There we go. No crew aboard and we killed somebody. And we get extra scrap. Not a ton of scrap. I prefer to not be fighting auto drones here so much in the Mantis homeworlds. Would prefer to be fighting uh, other ships. Like this. Surrender your goods. Yar. Try and get out, please. And just lock it down. Not the best I've ever done with that, but... As long as we don't have anyone get killed. Oh, that was a poor use of uh, our system there. In fact, I'm going to have to transport. I will be able to lock down one more time and take down their uh, stuff, though. But Okay, Defense Drone, do your thing, please. Thank you. Wow, oh, those guys are working very hard to repair. And this is where having the system bomb would be good. Alright, so we're going to be able to cloak that in time. We are probably going to run Joel out of here. Oh, it didn't cloak in time. And the defense drone also failed. But their crew's dead, and we get another weapon. So that's cute. So come back to me. I took more damage than I needed to. I actually played that pretty poorly, all things considered. Let's see. Heal, 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 heal. I know y'all love the clicking of the mouse. I keep telling myself I'm going to buy a new mouse when I have the money to. It's just that even a mouse is a little bit of a purchase for me right now. So... What do we want? Probably about time to get a level 2 transport. So, let's power that up, and we'll have that as a contingency as needed. Notch, you're still hurting. Come on, man. Thought I'd healed you. I guess it must have been where the shields got lasered a fight or two ago. Okay. So we're going to see if we can hit a bunch of these places, and if I have to jump back through a bunch of rebels, I don't really mind. This is what I was hoping for. 
Prepare battle stations. Okay, you're funny. Did you know that? So, what do we want here? We want to... Let's see here. We want to up our weapon power eventually, but I think for now, instead of the hull beam, we're going to go with the small bomb here. And go ahead and transport there. Lock it down. And we'll just have you retreat when it's timely. Okay, you can't hurt me. Your hull beam might be able to, though, so... Okay, already... Oh no, I lost my weapon guy, because I pushed a little too hard, because I forgot... Hey, wait! I have two mantis in there wailing on them, so that sucks. If there's ever a game where I don't really need my weapon guy as much, though, it's this one. It's just a little irritating to look and say... Oh, that was a waste. Well, let's use our bomb. Boom. So now I am in a position where I could use another crew member. Which stinks, because let's see here. Uh, what's more important for me? Probably to have my weapons loading a little faster, but not you're not super high on leveling that. So we're going to move you off of shields. Surely I'll be able to find one more person there. So see, I'm having a good run, but I'm not I'm not a perfect player. I'm not It actually took me a surprisingly long time to get that uh, no red shirts achievement. As I do things like that and screw up. So we are going to get uh, having the small bomb together a priority. And we'll see just how many more ships we can fight in this sector. And if we have to go through the rebellion to get back, jettison the pod. I'm not killing one of my people. Okay. Hmm. Use your improved med bay to synthesize a cure. There we go. We get more goodies. And we get to fight this place. Good. So we get one more jump before we're going to have to go through a few rebels here. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and up my weapon power one more time, so we can have all of those up at once. And with our boarding crew, we should be set. And good, we that jump was not for naught. And I'm not going to screw around this time. We're just going to take down your weapons. Are you going to be able to take out my sensors? No, not really. So lock that down twice. As long as you all can't fire on me. So those mantis are dead. We'll save our last lockdown to make sure that these guys can't escape. Pretty simple. So there's... A lot to learn. I just said use the lockdown to make sure these guys can't escape, not to let them escape. Eh, well, may as well not use the uh, bomb if I don't have to. Okay, so lots of scrap there. And we get a Pegasus missile, which is actually a very fun weapon. And actually one that I could be inclined to use instead of the hull beam small bomb combo because it fires two missiles, but the problem is that it uses three energy. So let's get these guys back on board. So that's going to be more stuff to sell. Yay! How many more rebel fleets do we want to jump through here? Let's actually go for since we have to jump through here anyway, let's get one that a beacon from a beacon that we haven't explored yet to just eke out a few more points. Okay, so what kind of nasty armament do you have? 
One that's going to get your face killed. All right. One that doesn't really matter because I can board you. My weapons aren't going to do a lot of good. And this is maybe where I should start boarding their, uh, whatchamacallit, their shield room. Okay. We're going to try and cloak through this first one, but... Yeah, that would have actually fired on them, and that probably would have hit the door control, actually. So here, can I take out that room? Yes! So lock this down. Gotta remember, this is only for one scrap, so it's not a huge deal. Would help if I'd actually opened my doors, but... Let's see here, they're all dead. They did take out my doors, so that sucks. That's okay, because we can have everybody fight on this ship. Even though I have to be careful because they're probably going to transport in just a second unless I cloak like that and watch them die. Probably should have... Ugh! Suck. Who sucks? I suck. So now I've got to wait until they repair all their stuff. That could have been a fight that went a lot faster. Okay, so there's the Rebel Fleet. Fight into just like that. Okay. Get you guys back in here. Since we are fighting a bunch of Rebel ships, might as well think about what other uh, stuff we need. Let's go ahead and do level 3 doors. It's really nice to have those so early. Okay. Not so bad. Johnson on the engines, Notch on the shields. Or no, you're on weapons now, aren't you? One of you's on weapons. I just haven't had a chance to fire my weapons yet. Alright, so, straight to the exit, I guess. So, just three shields. No transporter. We're just gonna lock it down. As soon as we can take out some of these weapon systems... Cloak out that first one, lock down twice. Missed. Okay, so as soon as we're done with cloak. Try and lock you all down one more time. There we go. That's how you kill things in FTL. So the rebels think they caught us, they just can't kill us because we are a. Uh, Crazy little crystal red ship that starts with a four-person teleporter and three lockdowns. Hooray! Let's go to the exit. Rock Homeworlds! That's a pretty basic way to do this. 
So let's go ahead and jump to the Rock Home Worlds. Yay! It'll be awesome. And I'm actually going to have to pause here for just a minute, so we're going to continue this in just a moment. So, Alright guys, we're back with more Faster Than Light, where we are kicking ass and taking names. And today we are in the Rock Home Worlds. And our mission is pretty simple. We are just going to see how hard we can win, but we're also going to see if we can bonus our way into the uh, secret sector. Because we do have some crystal crew, it's possible that we can make it. But to do that, first we gotta really focus on the killing. If that makes any sense at all. Oh, let's see here. There we go. Can we kill their missile in time? Yes, barely. So we're going to be getting these guys one by one. Pretty simple fights. There we go. Not so bad. So, 57 scrap, and our scrap recovery arm is really starting to pay off here, because we're getting a ton of extra scrap. So I guess the first thing I'll be doing is trying to upgrade my shields to level 4. So let's see here. I'm just going for blank sectors. I'd love to have the... Uh, okay, well, more fights. I'll, I'll always take more fights, even though I don't have the uh, transporter up right now. So I'll probably have to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, I'll activate a defense drone in a second, if I need it. Oh, uh, well, it helps if I probably cloak out of this first one, though. Or lock down this room before you can escape. There we go. So we'll just let you guys... Oh, crap, the missile's back up. I guess I do need it. Shoot it down. That was kind of close. 42 scrap. Oh, and we got a Zoltan. That's good. So we'll just move Notch, since you were on shields before. We'll move you back to shields. So fortunately, that weapon ended up not firing. Max or Med Bay. For those of you who don't remember our ship, we do have a drone cover here, and we actually have a lot of stuff we can sell, so that's good. And now we got Markle. So yeah, we'll, we'll up our shields to level 4 here in just a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so look. we Can, can we teleport through Zoltan Shields? Apparently. And you know what? I got two rock people. I don't really need a third, so dismiss you. We'll just have to fire our weapons and hope we don't get glaive beamed in the face. So I guess just fire at will, buddy. Okay. So port. I want to catch these guys in their separate rooms. Because so. if you're running from room to room, you're not trying to actually fire on my people, so... That human's just getting shot in the back. <sighs> Do I want the NG to join my crew? I got a lot of stuff. You know what? Everyone has a specialization on this ship. Which is nice to say that everybody has a role. I actually normally really like having NG on my ship. And maybe I could have replaced one of my rock people just to get a few more random events, but not a super huge priority today. No, what is a priority is uh, upping my shields and then I'll... Let's see. 
I'm just kind of have to guess and hope for the best here. Let's see, another fight. And then big scary laser time. We'll lock it down. Oh, I guess I didn't need to lock it down that hard. Probably at this rate, I could just dodge even that many lasers. Because it's not like these guys are running or anything. Because they're med based. So I just find it interesting that rock ships have such little shielding, even this late in the game. But all we gotta do is blow stuff up. Yay, 58 scrap. Oh, yeah, a lot of people got hurt that fight. Interesting. But let's go ahead and... Oh, I can only do it once. All right, well, we'll roll with max shields like this. Let's see. I guess I'll... Ugh, it's going to be close, but I'm going to try and work my way down and then back up to the exit, because this ship can eat rebel ships for lunch. I'm going to aid the ship. Okay, this is going to be some tricky timing. Because those guys might overlap. No, I got them in two different rooms. Sweet. So that was good. I'm going to have to cloak out of something in a second, but... It's not like they can take down my shields too hard. Okay, so 60 scrap and the civilian ship looked it. Which is probably smart. When you see a big hunk of crystal floating in space, I'd run to and ask questions later. So Let's see, we got some spare power now. Let's see, okay, so there's a store. We're going to avoid that. Uh, I guess I can try and get back to some of these in just a minute. Okay, strip the ship. Dirty scrap. Let's go ahead and max our power. And I guess, yeah. Start giving ourselves more health in systems that need health, so. I guess I'll just swing down there and up and then hope I get the uh, right sector in just a second. Or not sector. I'm in the right sector. I'm in the rock home. If I get it, great. If I don't, it's a little disappointing considering I do have three crystal crew members, but I'm doing really well with this run anyway. The devastatingly powerful boats. Okay. Oh boy, the bomb stop. Let's be cautious. Let's see how many rooms can this hit? Well, I can hit the other crew and soften up a little bit. Sweet. Not so sweet. Okay, so before it was like, hey, look, the room's on fire. Now it's like, I don't want to fight a bunch of rock people in the room that's on fire. Well, you know what? We're just going to kill them in their room. Maybe. Okay. Joel probably is a little too ambitious running in there first, so let's run you out. Don't even need to lock down this room. So there we go. 64 more scraps. So we keep getting 70 scrap per fight. So you still have max health here. So I guess now it's just up the oxygen and then up the engines. I mean, that extra Zoltan power is very helpful. Whew. Okay, well, Rebel Fleet's coming. I don't mind jumping through some ships if I need to. So, all right, shit, crystal, okay, this is it, this is the uh, thing, crystal crew reactivate it, let's go to that sector, woohoo, I'm sorry, it's the second time I've been here, so let's see your strange crystalline ships dot the horizon, I wonder how you'll be, 
Oh, so you get a quest marker. So you have done as you promised, and so shall I. No, not really. We started with the crystal ship. That's a little bit of a retcon. Oh, the quest marker's right there, and the exit spot's right there. So we will be hitting that uh, exit. 